I think women in the Ravnit has had a tremendous impact on Judaism. And I say this at the risk of becoming a little bit too genderific, right? You know, men are not all the same, women are not all the same, so I sort of say what I'm about to say with a little bit, that's the caveat. But I do think that, in general, there are, you know, women tend to be more relational in nature. Um, and I do think that the rabbinate has become more relational in nature because of women being a part of it. Um, relationships are very important. Um, connecting on an interpersonal way has become incredibly important. Um, of course, it's still important to be that rabbi who's the sort of Moses on Sinai giving over the sermons on the bima where he's telling you how you should behave in this world. There's a place for that, even in my rabbinate. But there's also a place for being with people one-on-one, -on -one, accompanying them where they are, um, and taking them like one or two steps further. I certainly feel that women, to, that girls, to see themselves reflected in the bima makes them want to sort of be part of Jewish life. Um, and that men seeing women on the bima creates a sort of a much more holistic understanding of what it means to create a Jewish life. And hopefully, like boomerangs back to the home and that men are certain more involved in Jewish life in the home.